So now that we've been able to display the information from NS user defaults inside of the table view, we're going to add an update that's going to allow us to color our table view cells differently based on whether or not they're overdue. So we're going to go ahead and first create a helper method. So we're going to find our helper method pragma mark here. And we're going to write another helper method. And what this method is going to do is it's going to compare if one date is greater than another date. And it's going to return a bool value as to whether or not this is true. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to return a bool. And we're going to give it a method name where we we'll say is date greater than date. And we can give it an argument of NS date. And let's give it an argument name of date. And we're going to compare it to another NS date. So we're going to say and, and we can do NS date. And let's call this variable name to date. So let's add some colon, uh, uh, curly braces. And the first thing we need to do is we need to create some NS time intervals. So we're going to say NS time interval. And we're going to say date interval. And we'll set this equal to date time interval since 1970. So what is an NS time interval? Well, it's the number amount of time in seconds. And specifically, we're saying the number of seconds since the 1st of January of 1970. So now that we're able to have, and specifically, this is represented as a double. So now that we have a number, we're going to be able to compare it to another number. So we're going to say NS time interval. And we're going to say to date interval. And we're going to say to date time interval since 1970. Now we can write an if statement. We're going to be able to say if uh, date time date interval is greater than uh, to date interval. And we can add some curly braces. And we're going to be able to say return yes and else return no. And we can actually refactor this since we know that each one of these lines is only going to be one line of code. We can go ahead and remove these extraneous curly braces here and line these up nicely. And we'll do the same thing for our if statement here. And we can line this up nicely as well. So we just have if the date interval is greater than the to date interval, we're going to return yes. Otherwise, we're going to return no. So now we can go ahead and call this method inside of self erode index path. We're going to use our functionality. So let's go down in the bottom here. We can first let's create a bool and we're going to say is overdue. We're going to set this equal to self is date greater than date. And we know that we can get the current date by saying NS date. And we're going to simply say date, which returns what the current date is and when this method is called. And we're going to pass in task.date as the comparison. So now we can add an if statement. And we're going to say if is overdue is equal to yes. So it is currently overdue. We're going to say cell.background color is equal to UI color red color. Otherwise, the cell dot background color is going to be equal to UI color yellow color. And this is going to just going to say you haven't completed it yet. So let's go ahead and run our application and see if this works. And since we set up the dates separately, we should have two yellow and one red. So let's test to see if this works. Let's add another task and we'll set this equal to task four. Oh, you know what, actually, so we haven't set up our keyboard dismissing it. So I want to set my date first here. So I'm going to move my date back. And we're make, going to make this in the past so that we get out this red error. And we're going to say task four, and we'll say description for now. And we can press add task. And now we see that task four is red because it's behind the current due date. 